Hey guys, snack time for the kids. <laughs> I had to come out and uh, wanted to break up their water because it's about 20 degrees and check for eggs so they don't freeze. And because uh, if they freeze, sometimes they crack and I don't like to use them once they crack open. So you might hear the generator running. Uh, we had to get a new battery for it. It's been so cold here, the battery that we have in it um, was new when we had the generator. Hmm, how am I gonna say this? So the generator was here for the previous owners. The bank took it, put it in storage. When we bought the place, they brought it back. We had it serviced, checked out, made sure it was okay, and hooked up, of course. And we had them put a brand new battery in it so that we knew that it would be working and running the way it was supposed to. So it's been six years, about six years, and uh, it's, you know, with this real bad cold, it was like five, seven degrees, something like that the other day. And Scott went to start it and it just wasn't, didn't quite have enough oomph to get, to get through there. So um, he went over yesterday and picked up another battery not really what he wanted but things you're just not getting things that you want these days you take what you can get I guess so he got a kind of an economy be economy battery um, but it's one that will go in it and he put it in and turned the generator on and given us a good charge because I don't know if you can tell Let's see if I can get a good shot of the sky it's clouding in and we're gonna get some snow. So he thought he'd get that in and running and charge us up because we're not gonna get any sun for a couple days. And uh, just give us a good charge on everything. I got some laundry that I just finished up. Let's see if we can go back over here. Oh, snacks are all cleaned up so the chickens are leaving. <laughs> and the dog's standing up there. <laughs> Crazy animals. So they're predicting 8 to 12 inches for us here, so we'll see. We'll do the grill report after the storm's over. They're also saying uh, wind, so who knows with that. Um, you know, if, if I'll be able to get an accurate grill report. But we'll, we'll try it in a spot where the wind maybe can't get into as bad, and then we'll, um, you know, We'll do the grow report still <laughs> and match it up and see, you know, the scientific part of it. But um, yeah, so I just thought I'd come out and give you guys a little update on what's going on. Um, not really much. We're just waiting on the storm. We're all ready. The tractor's over, ready, gassed up, ready to go. Uh, we moved the vehicles over out of the driveway so Scott can just plow all that and then the hill and the rest of the driveway and when he's done I move the vehicles over in the part where he's plowed and then he does back here um, with as much snow as we're getting he might have to come out two or three times it all depends um, in the night because I think it's supposed to start here right off I wouldn't be surprised if we don't start seeing flurries here right off so I don't know we'll see we'll see what's going on uh, Tomorrow, I think it's supposed to go throughout the day, the night and the day tomorrow. So we'll be busy with that. I'll try and get some footage of him doing some plowing and and uh, all that between shoveling and keeping the chickens happy. But it is supposed to warm up a little bit, which is good. So I don't have to keep coming out and checking the water. I come out two or three, well, I come out three times a day about, um, you know, in the morning first thing, break up the water, get the ice out, put fresh water in. And then later on in the day, uh, you know, two or three hours and I check it, break up the ice again. And then, you know, it all depends. It all depends on what's going on. But they're pretty good about pecking through and getting to the water. It doesn't freeze hard, hard. It just gives a little layer over the top. So that's pretty good. So <laughs> they're over there.
there, hunkered down. But I also want to talk about our hats. Did you notice? Got some hats. Uh, I contacted a company called Heart to Heart Designs on Etsy. I actually saw them on Instagram. There was an advertisement. And um, so I contacted them and I said, hey, this is kind of what I'm thinking. And would you guys be able to do that? And I really liked the, you know, the stitching and everything instead of, you know, a patch would have been nice too. But, you know, instead of just print it on, um, I like the stitching. It will last longer. So, so this is kind of what I'm thinking. Can you guys do this? And they said, yes, we can do that couple back and forth of different designs and here we are so we have hats um, we actually have I got a couple couple extra and uh, we've reached our 500 subscribers so we're trying to figure out what we want to do for that we want to do something good uh, but I haven't decided but one of them could be a hat or two maybe I don't know if you can see is it this side I can't remember what side it is. Don't mind my hat head. Oh, it's this side. Okay. Right over here. See? YouTube. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a pretty cool hat. Pretty comfy. Oh, that's why I didn't come over here. Because it's noisy. But I want to come over and see the chickens. There's a few huddled over by the generator. They love it over there. Um... See, I'm trying to stay around the corner so that I don't uh, get a bunch of that generator noise. But, um, so, yeah, storm, hats. But anyway, I'll have all the information uh, down in the description about Hat to Hat Designs. They have, um, they have an Instagram, they have an Etsy store, they're on Facebook. Uh, and I'll put all that stuff down in the description and maybe at the end and maybe there'll be something down here too um, But they're really awesome to work with very nice people and uh, nice company. So check them out if you guys are interested in uh, Hat I don't know they do all kinds of stuff. I want to say they did tumblers too or they do tumblers too so I see what you're doing, chicken. I bring my treats out in a red solo cup. And I laid it in the snowbank right here. Now they're attacking it. <laughs> uh-huh. There's no more. I gave you guys all of them. That's how I train them. If they're all out in the woods and I want them to come back because something's going on or I just want them to come back in the area. <clears throat> I train them from when they're small with the uh, red solo cup and I shake the seeds in there and they know that red solo cup, which might be a bad thing, uh, is their, their treats. So they need to come and they'll get their treats and you just shake it and they can hear it and they come running and you give them a few treats. So they've learned this. But the only thing is if we are having a gathering or we go outside with a beverage of some sort in a red solo cup, Everybody thinks uh, it's for them. And here's uh, the little Morans walking in the snow. There's really no path there. I may have put a path because uh, I take their poop droppings around the corner. I am not, where are you going? I have no idea where she's going. Oh, maybe she's going to the compost pile thinking she's gonna find something. Um. Maybe some eggshells. Who knows? But, uh, let's see. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else really to talk about. I wanted to talk about the hats because I really appreciate Heart to Heart Designs. Um, it's Heart, H-A-R-T, and then number two, and, and then H-A-R-T again. Together. Chicken, where are you? Oh my goodness, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. She's over behind the compost pile. You probably can't see her, but she's right there. She's trying to find stuff in there. Oh, here comes another one. Where are you going? Are you going to go lay an egg? 
They love going in this little coop. One of these girls likes to go in there and lay an egg. Scott keeps saying, you usually close those up for the winter, or close it up for the winter so they can't get in there. And I'm like, I know, but she likes to go in there and lay. So I feel bad if I close it up now. <laughs> and I thought a bunch of other ones would follow her, but they haven't. It's just that one. So let's see. She's probably in there getting all cozy. After tomorrow, I don't know, though, if we get 12 inches of snow, she might not be able to get in here. She'll have to lay somewhere else. Let's see. Hi, girl. Oh, no. She says, I'm leaving. You disturbed my egg laying. Anywho, so it's clouding in or it's clouded in. It's around 20 degrees cold yucky we're ready for a storm in my mind I'm not really ready but we have had it has been brought to my attention that we have had a pretty easy January for the most part we haven't had anything since before Christmas that really was anything big so I need to suck it up buttercup <laughs> uh, that was from a friend <laughs> I was like, you're right, you're right. So, anyway, there's that. Panels cleaned off right now, but who knows? <laughs> they won't be tomorrow morning till I get out here and do it. But, um, anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. I just thought I would give you a little update. We'll have a grill report and probably some, some tractor in at some point within the next few days. And once we get dug out, we will see you guys then. Talk to you later. Bye guys. <laughs>